All right, now we're going to do a little bit more complicated editing. We're going to learn how to use the trace tool when we're creating polygons that we want to match neighboring polygons. So back to uh, the notion of topology and making sure we don't have topological errors that I don't want overlapping polygons. So right here I've got uh, a section that I'm digitizing both forest cover and field boundaries. And I want to digitize this field right here and I've got a couple of forest polygons, these kind of light green areas that I want to, my field to be uh, exactly adjacent to. So we're going to start an editing session, make sure that we're in the right workspace. In this case, it's my forest and fields 13 layer. And then uh, I'm going to switch to my Create Features tab here for editing. Set this up if you haven't already. You may also want the Edit tab. That's up here uh, in your editor. And I'm going to say I want to create a new polygon for forest and fields. I'm going to zoom in a little closer to my polygon. Let's see, let's start up here in this corner. And I'm going to start digitizing this polygon in an arbitrary spot. So this type of editing you guys are used to. And then I'm going to get over here and I now need to match this forest uh, boundary here. So we're going to be switching between different modes of editing here and now I want to trace. I'm going to click on the trace tool and then click on the edge of that polygon. And now if I notice it will trace that edge. I can see where it's tracing. So I'm going to go all the way up to the corner here and then in this case I want to actually trace the section boundary so it's going to let me do that. Now tracing when you get to the edge of your screen is a little bit difficult to keep it from stop tracing and in this case if I go down here and move with these arrow tools I can get over. Alright so now I've traced all the way to the edge of along the, my section boundary then back to this forest. Now here's a little tricky I want to jump from here to here. So I'm going to go to the edge of my um, my field boundary which isn't quite in the middle there and click to stop tracing. Now it looks like it stopped editing completely, but it hasn't. I'm just I'm switching modes here. So I want to go back to a straight segment. And this allows me to continue editing that boundary. And now I want to switch back to tracing. So I'll switch back to the trace tool, click on the edge of that forest, and now I can start tracing this forest. Stop. Straight line editing. Switch. Go back to tracing. Okay, and now I need to scroll down a little bit. All right, trace down to the edge here, stop, go back to straight line editing, a couple clicks, then we're back to tracing again. Stop, scroll down, maybe. All right. Well, ArcMap's finally back. All right, not sure what happened there. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, and did I lose my editing? I don't think I'm still in a sketch, so I'm going to click on the polygon tool here. Um, I'm on straight line, connect, and now go back to tracing. Click here. All right, now trace all the way around this polygon, up to the edge of my field boundary there. Back to straight line editing. And here's where things get a little bit difficult to see what you're doing. But I pretty much want to digitize this field boundary along the edge of this road. And now I'm done. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the attribute tabs uh, and make sure that this is set up as a field and cover type. All right, and as always, save often. All right, good luck.